Hi everyone, how's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody is doing great. Um, I just wanted to come and share a mini album. This is a chipboard mini album that I just completed. Um, I've been working on this for a couple days, just kind of here and there periodically. Uh, I haven't been doing a whole lot of um, journaling or, you know, working on journals right now. I've just kind of been hanging out with friends and and uh, again working on this on this particular album here um, just for the last couple of days so I finished it up um, I actually finished it up last night but um, I never got around to recording it so I just wanted to come and share that with you um, it's a smaller it's a smaller album it measures let me see here it measures seven by five or five by seven and I just did the um, the ring binder right ring binding excuse me and I just um, decorated the the rings with some ribbon to coordinate with the paper collection so um, you all have seen that done hundreds of times I'm sure but um, so that's what I did there it's just four pages and again it's just a chipboard album so um, it was a nice uh, fun project to complete I haven't done a chipboard album in years so this was a lot of fun to do the paper collection that I used was K and Company I dug into my K and Company hoard vault I love their papers and um, I just I got a huge stash of them so I dug into my little hoard and and uh, and that's what I used for this collection on the front and back covers I've got um, are the flora and fauna collection but on the inside is a different collection and doggone it if I don't have it in front of me right now but um, I can't remember what the name of the other collection is but if you all have if anybody wants to know what it is after the video uh, just message me in the comment section below and I'll um, look it up and, and you know let you know in, in my response so anyhow um, all I did here on the cover was a fussy cut a bird out of the flora and fauna collection and I um, stamped this image on some craft card and then uh, I used a Sizzix flourish I used a Sizzix flower to make these flowers here these little ones on the side are just done using an old EK success punch I've got a couple of Martha Stewart butterflies and I just um, filled the centers in with uh, the butterflies and these little flowers here on the side with some uh, stickles, cinnamon stickles. And then here this is just an epoxy sticker that says memories and I just backed it on some of the pattern paper and then um, used some foam dots to pop it up on top of some uh, brown craft card. All right. And then I uh, used a um, brass colored or antique bronze colored um, brad in the center of the flower. And it looks like that's it for the cover. So um, on the inside of the first page, we've just got a photo mat here. I made a flower out of the um, pattern paper and I spritzed it with some of my um, Lindy sprays. I don't know if the shimmer is showing up or not, but um, I topped it off with just a little bit of um, a little gemstone there. And then behind it, I've just got some bead trim. And I punched a uh, a little tag out of the tiny tabs and tags die uh, by Tim Holtz, and just stamped that with love. Got a little bit of ribbon and Martha Stewart butterfly. You've got the Sizzix flourish in the background here. Another flower right up top. And then we've got a couple of um, tags up in here. Okay, and then you can you can either put some small photos here or you know do just use them for journaling. And then um, the little flourish is not glued down, so you can slide your picture here, and neither is this ribbon, so you can tuck tuck your picture right inside there as well. 
And those just tuck right behind the photo mat. And then over here on this side, again, we've just got another photo mat. I just topped it with, uh, again, the Sizzix Flourish. You're going to see those throughout. Um, got another Martha Stewart butterfly here, and I just uh, filled the center of the butterfly in with some bling. Got some ribbon around the um, photo mat. I fashioned some flowers with my uh, punches. Another Martha Stewart butterfly, and then behind this photo mat here, we've also got an additional photo mat. Okay, and a couple more tags. And those just slip right back behind there. And all the tags have been topped off with um, some ribbon, coordinating ribbon as well. Here I just uh, fussy cut the flowers out of one of the um, pattern papers and I use those to make a pocket here and it's just we've got a couple of tags and I did some stenciling with the negative space from the flourishes. I just saved the negative space and I use those as stencils and I just stenciled there with vintage photo. Okay. And then again, these are topped off with the ribbon as well. And then we've got another photo mat here. And then on the inside here, we've got another bigger photo mat. All right. And I've just stacked a couple of Prima flowers. I've inked them up with the um, Walnut Stain ink. Spritzed them with some... Um, Tattered Angels. I don't know if you can see that. It's just some gold glimmer mist. And uh, centered or filled the center in with a brad. And that's it there. I love this paper here. I think it's so pretty. So those just tuck right back in there. And then over here we've got another photo mat that I just stenciled. And then a couple more. Uh, tags and I did fussy cut some more flowers out there and put them on those tags so you can use these again for some smaller photos and then just do a little bit of journaling with a, a white gel pen and then again this ribbon here is not adhered down so you can tuck um, your picture can slide right behind there okay and then we cut out or, or I cut out a bigger flower one of these flowers and just glued it down back there all the pages are finished off with uh, grommets self-piercing grommets and then here we've got um, a couple of photo mats this just opens up and I fussy cut some flowers out of um, the pattern paper again so you can you've got some free opportunities for photos there okay Another one here, and that just um, that just holds shut with this ribbon and a a, um, a bead. And then up on top, we've got some more tags. Let me just do some more journaling, or add some more photos. And those just slide right back up there, and then on the side, we've got a couple more photo mats. I did some stenciling again on that one, and then I just fussy cut a flower out of that pattern paper. And those just slide right back behind there. I'll put those in later. And then over here, this is the last page. I've got another photo mat here. This is an EK Success um, layered butterfly punch. And... Um, We've got the Tim Holtz Tattered Florals die. So I made that flower out of the Tattered Florals die and centered it off with a um, gemstone. And I stamped a clock and just uh, backed it with some brown cardstock. And then that um, banner there, so it says time flies, but the petals from the flower is are kind of overlapping on the flies part. So, um, then we've got some Martha Stewart butterflies and a little bit of beaded trim 
And then back here behind the photo mat, you've got a couple more tags. Topped off with some more ribbon. All right, so that's it for this uh, project. It was a lot of fun to make. I enjoyed, I enjoyed making this. It had been a really long time since I'd done just a little chipboard mini album. These are a lot of fun to do. So um, the back is plain. I'll just um, sign it and then we'll be, it'll be done, ready to go. So that was my project this uh, for the last couple days. Just wanted to come and share that with you. I did have uh, one of my subscribers um, asked me how I do my banners in my journals. And so I told her that the next video that I did that I would show her really quickly show her really quickly how I did my banners. Um, she wanted to know if I used a punch or if I used a die. I don't use either. I use scissors and it's super easy. You don't need a square punch. You don't need a die. Um, and you can make your banners any size. You can make them, um, you know, thin, wide. You can make the tails on them long or short, however you want. Um, all I do when I do my banners is I just get my scissors and I um, and I just eyeball it. I just eyeball the center of the paper and all I'll do is just snip up, let me move this out of the way so you guys can see. I'll snip straight up the center depending on how long you want your tails. Just snip up the center and then you'll go out to the corner and then you'll just come right into that side. Same with this corner here, right in. And there's your banner. Okay, you can make your tails shorter if you want the tails shorter. You can, same thing, you'll just go straight up the center, and go out to your corners, and there you go. So, you know, again, you can make your banners as, as you know, cut your strips as paper as, as thin or wide as you want them. You can make your tails as long, as short as you want them. Okay? So that is how that's done, everybody. You don't need punches or dies or anything like that. You can do this all on your own. So all you need is a pair of scissors, okay? Um, if you guys have any other questions on some of the things that I do, um, please let me know. I'll be happy to, to go over some stuff with you guys. I, I don't mind at all. Um, anyhow, I guess that's it for tonight. Stay tuned. I'm going to be getting my... Um, giveaway together here hopefully within the next week I should have it all ready to go with all the um, uh, rules and everything for for the giveaway I should have everything all squared away next week so um, stay tuned for that okay and hopefully I'll have a couple of journals here completed also in the next few days um, that's what I'm hoping. So hope everybody's having an incredible night. Hope you guys are all crafting and having fun. And we will talk to you all soon. Thank you everybody for um, watching tonight. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye.